Good morning, Scale Nation. Joe back. Steve. Hey, hey, Bird hey, up. bear. Yeah. Hey, Tosh. Morning. We are back at Blue Rock Family Campground for the start of, I guess it's day two, or day three for some of these people. Day one for us. We came yeah. yesterday. Well, Stop, please. We stopped yesterday and we tried a quick trail real quick. Uh, now we're back today for the full G6 experience. Um, what a cool campground this place is. They've got everything. they got a pool and now they got the power fix. We don't have to have all these generators running in the background, which is actually pretty amazing. That they've got all those backup systems. So when the power did go down, which as we were driving in today, um, we saw a lot of like guardrails and stuff like that that were all knocked over, which tells me that trees down in this area is a very common thing. So they're pretty well prepped and set up for it. The staff here is amazing. This whole shed here is full of some super old classic cars that are all in various stages of rebuild. But everyone here is super cool. So even if you're not coming here for a G6 or an RC event, which by the way, they actually rent RCs if you want. Uh, and then you can go take off into the woods on a regular day. And just this morning or just last night, Parker announced that the 12 hour Enduro fix is going to be here in September. So maybe something to look into. It's something that he's pretty much demanded that we come to, eh, Steve? <laughs> yeah. He's like, you, now that you know where this campground is, you'd better be here. So I want to talk really quick about how awesome this campground is. So it's out of the city, obviously, a little bit out of the way. And I just went and bought a bag of ice. Now, what are your thoughts, Tosh? Okay, so, so we're in a campground. We're in the middle of nowhere. Anyone want to guess how much a giant bag of ice cost? Listen, we're out in the middle of nowhere. I'm going to save around 10 bucks. I would have said eight, yeah. maybe six. Okay, Bear, what do you think? How much do you think this cost? $100. So he thinks it's 100 bucks. She thinks it's 10 He thinks it's eight. It's $2.25. Holy jeez. Two, so that just gives you an idea of how affordable they keep this. Wait, wait, wait. So like $10 Canadian. Yeah, like Canadian, yeah. No, so $2.25 for a bag of ice. We just went into the place here. Um, a, a giant Gatorade is two bucks. A bottle of water is $1.25. And I know this sounds weird, but um, back home where we are, if you are trapped like you are here where you don't have the ability just to drive into town, it would be like 10 bucks for a bag of ice. It would be like $4 for a water. Gatorade would cost you a damn fortune. But this place keeps life affordable. So check it out. The Blue Rock Family Campground. I really like in this place. I saw Parker around here somewhere, but let's go take a look at some of the, uh, some of the action that's happening. Yeah, so we just did number nine. Now what's next? Okay, so let's see you go through number 10. <laughs> Tell, see, this is your very first time ever on a real trail. What? Your first time ever on a real trail? Sweet. So where's number 11, dude? You gonna drive through number 11? 11, 11, 11. So you found 10. 11. Well, that's 12, but 11's in front of you. Howdy. 11, it's it. Okay, drive through 11. Oh, go set it back up, bud. Now the fun part is, is through all of this, paying attention to Bear, this is also Tasha's first course. So let's see you. Wait, did he make it? So far, bud. Wait. See, 17's right here. you have to go to 18? You have to go to 17 first. Nope. Hold on, bud. There we go. 13. Where's 14 now? Up here. Recon. 
And when you do so, you will you will get yourself a USS Recon. Hold on, what was it? I rode the USS Recon bumper sticker, scale bumper sticker for your car. So 12 o'clock, feed the pond. Captain Paul will uh, give you a ferry ride. Time for the show and shine. So everyone gets their best rig together. Gets them all up here. The G6 judges get to go over everything to see who's got the rig of the day, who's got the nicest looking setup. Now this being a G6, of course it's a scale competition, but it's also a function competition. So that's a lot of trucks that definitely have a lot of really cool scale aspect to them, but also need to be super, super, super functional and be able to last miles and miles and miles through rocks and water. There's a lot of really nice trucks on here. I wonder who the winner's gonna be. For me, uh, my motivation is the smiles, the family memories, and, uh, and, and the overall family group feel that each and every one of you are responsible for. Uh, and, and I get asked a lot, don't ever get tired of doing what I do. Next year will be the Recon G6 10th anniversary. And when I get a chance to think back to how much traveling I've done, it doesn't seem like a lot because every event we're at, no matter where out in the world, it feels like I'm here with family. And, and that's why it never gets tiring. It's like I'm always with family. And that includes each and every one of you. So uh, I'm, I'm shaking you guys. Thank you. Thank you. I love you guys. Enjoy your day. I'm going to go for the great challenge. And, uh, Wow, so I guess this that's the show. So. Brian Parkman, where are you going to Another shout out to uh, Push Rod uh, for staying up late with us. Oh my goodness. <laughs> they were up late with us last night, early this morning, crashing in Bergen trying to get this thing done. I, I, I don't know what to say. Sorry I couldn't make it Mike, to the meet and Mike, greet last night. Hey, Mike <laughs> and <Mike, Mike, Mike, laughs> All right, guys, this is it. This is your first G6. We're going to start this on the Tekken stage. Yeah. Are you ready for this? You ready, buddy? You doing some kind of weird, like, dab? Did you learn this on Fortnite? He's um, feeling himself right now. All right, well, let's get this stage started. Tekken stage, I have no idea how many people are here. I have no idea how long this stage are. I know they said that there's one overland stage yeah, yeah. that he said is five miles. Yeah, five miles. One That's overland that. stage is five miles. We got six hours to complete this place before the awards ceremony, and it's supposed to be 105 degrees today. It's a little toasty. Yeah, it's already got a bag sag factor of like 100, so oh. this is gonna be this is gonna be fun. So let's get this started. Bear, say let's go, buddy. Hey, let's go. Or not. Uh. One of the things that I really dig about the G6 is this Parker does build a trail that can be a bit of a challenge for us adults, but I'll show you as you can see my kids doing a good job making it through step by step. So, I mean, if you've got a little one, don't don't be afraid to head out to a G6. It's uh, it's not a daunting experience and, and just give them a little bit of patience and uh, you, they learn a lot. Same with wives, right, hon? What? You having fun? Yeah. Hi, Steve. You just finished your very first G6 stage. Yeah. Your very first. How do you feel about that? Lucky. That's like something that not all the kids get to do, and you just finished it, and you didn't flip over, and you did it all, and you counted all of the obstacles, and you found everything. Is that super cool? Yeah. You did really well. High five. What Boom. do we get? Are we off to another stage? What do we? What do we get? We get the the satisfaction of knowing that we just completed a Parker G6 stage. No. We did. <laughs> we, now we get to watch me in the pool and go to dive in the pool. Well, you know what? Very soon. Let's go do one more stage first.
for those of you that have never been, this is this is the greatest part about the G6. Just a, a bunch of people hanging around, wheeling trucks. Now it's great because you get to meet some of these amazing people. You get to talk about their rigs. They get to talk about different things that they've put on them, what their purposes are, what their inspirations were, and then different products like, oh, that's a really nice light bar. Where'd you get that? Or those are really nice wheels. Where'd you get that? And then you get to see how everyone's product runs. And it is super cool. I really, really dig this. And again, it's I'd have to say a G6 is less about the trucks and more about the people. What a great event. And Bear's doing pretty well. So parents, a really important thing to remember when you're going to go to a G6 is sometimes the little ones get a little bit stressed out. Again, it's like 105 degrees. There's a lot of fun stuff for kids to do here, and he's decided he doesn't want a G6 anymore. He wants to go play in the pool. No, I want a G6. I just want to like play with it later. Yeah, so we got lots of time later. So what we did, Rao, we got to team up, right? It's all about teamwork? No. So we sent Steve and Tosh ahead to go complete this stage. And then what we'll do after that is we'll trade off. Bear will go to the pool with mummy. And then uh, Steve and I will go do the course again. And then when I'm done that, I'll go switch out. And then Steve and Tosh can do a cake off. So you gotta make it all work, right buddy? No. Is it hot out? I really, are you, are you want you to watch me in the pool. Well, that will probably have to happen as well. But you gotta have teamwork, you gotta have a plan when you bring a little dude like this with you. Because sometimes patience is not their strong suit. Please, that made him happy. 